Hello and welcome to Origamator version 1.0, the trial walkthrough. So in this walkthrough we're going to be running through the trial and what you can do with it, how you can test Origamator. So to know if you're on the trial, you just have to come over to your Origamator panel and you'll see that between the icon and the name Origamator, there will be a little square here and it will have a little white T inside, T standing for trial. Another way you can check is if you open up the guide, you'll see at the top here it says trial expired. My trial hasn't expired, don't worry. But yours will say trial and how many days you have left on that. So before we start this guide, the first thing I want you to do is actually head over to the Rigomator main page. When you're on the Rigomator main page, you can come down to the bottom and you can download the Rigomator walkthrough template doesn't matter if you're on a trial, not on a trial, doesn't matter if you even downloaded Rigomator, it's there and it's available for you. That will give you access to the Rigomator comps and the Rigomator walkthrough template. After that, I want you to head over to the Rigomator walkthrough. This walkthrough doesn't matter if you're on the trial or not, the initial stages of setting up your character by loading your character in are exactly the same. The only difference is that in the trial mode, the only option you'll have available to you is Duic. Rubber hose, limber, and joystick and sliders is not an option. Also, creating the controllers, the only option you'll have is for your left arm and your right foot. So you'll just have to set these up accordingly on here. But once you're done, you can continue in the same fashion. Continuing following this guide, you'll get to a stage in which you're setting up the nodes for your character. The nodes for your character will be here, and then in the walkthrough you'll copy these nodes from your Geeky Man rig onto your Geeky Man running. When you're at this stage, you can then continue with this walkthrough and carry on as normal. So we're going to begin at this stage where we've copied these nodes onto our Geeky Man running. We're going to head over to Rigomator and we're going to command or windows and left click on the load button. This is going to load the nodes from our comp. Once we're in here we can then select the view of our character. Our character is in a right facing view so we're going to click that. We then would only have access to the left arm and the right foot. So this is important. The rest here are available for me as I have a licensed copy. If you don't you would only have access to the left arm and the right foot. So what we're going to be creating is both of these. We're going to be adding an animation template to our left arm. So here we have no animation templates. We're going to click the little plus down here and that's going to allow us to name our animation template. So we are going to call this arm animation and we're just going to click OK and let that build itself. We're then going to head back over to our controllers and click on our right foot and we're going to add a name for this animation as well and call it right foot animation and then we're going to click OK. Once this is done, what this is built is an animation template that you have over here right foot animation and then in our hand we have the arm animation then what we can do is we can head back over to our Geeky Man rigged comp. This comp will still have the nodes available in it, what's important, but it's going to have no animation on the character. So we're going to head over to our load stage, and then we're going to command or Windows left click on the load button. It's going to load the nodes available to us. We're then going to click on our right view, and then of course we would only have the right foot and the left arm available. So we're going to click the left arm and we see our arm animation. Clicking your arm animation and then clicking the add animation to your character via the nose, we then get our animation tied to our character. There we go, that is our animation on our character. We're then going to do exactly the same thing but we're going to do it for the right foot. Clicking the right foot animation, clicking the apply, and there is our animation on our character. So this of course is just the left arm and the right foot, so it will look pretty funky. 
but you can see that you can actually do this with any animation. You can then come over and you can turn these animations on or off by selecting the relevant controller and you'll have this new effect. The effect is P, the name of the controller, and then the name of the animation. P standing for parent. The A in your layers, as you'll notice, is standing for animation. That's just to say that this is an animation null. So we have a connection and a property section inside this effect. The connection ties this controller to our animation null. So setting this to 0%, for example, would turn on our animation off. Setting it to 100% would turn our animation on. This connection listens to these properties. So if I was to turn the position off, it now ignores the position, but it's still following the rotational opacity and effects. Turn it back on, now it's following the position. To show you a better example of this, I'll grab the foot. And what we do is we turn the position off. Now this foot is no longer listening to the position, but it's still listening to the rotation. So as you can see at the bottom of my screen there, the foot is still rotating, but it's no longer following the position. If I was to reverse that and say, listen to the position, not the rotation, you'll see that the foot is no longer rotating, but the position is moving it. You can then, of course, turn the animation off and back on. So this is a quick rundown of what you can do and how Rigamator works. The full walkthrough that you can get on the Rigamator homepage under here, Rigamator walkthrough, contains a lot more information than how this works, what to do with this, how to set it up for a full character. If you're using rubber hose or limber, you also have the rubber hose and limber walkthrough just below here. And hope you enjoy.